Hey, Melissa here. Welcome back to Morgan's Off Leashed. I want to welcome all the new subscribers and thanks so much for everyone that has subscribed and supported us commenting and liking our videos. Um, yeah, it helps us feel supported and uh, helps us feel what we're doing and sharing is, uh, is enjoyed. So thanks so much. sun behind me but uh this morning it was below zero <laughs> so we are welcoming the sun to uh warm things up i heard it's supposed to be in the 30s today so we're pretty excited about that rue loves just rolling in the snow <laughs> Hi, Archie. I don't have anything. Must feel good. All right, I have my helper Hunter here. We're gonna make snow ice cream. It's fresh snow, but that is all, look at that, that's all ice right there. Oh, there it goes down through. Okay, you'll get a separate bowl from your snow and scoop four cups of the snow into your mixing bowl. This is one cup and the fill line is right here. So we're gonna use one cup of heavy whipping cream and you can use milk, but we just happen to have some, so we're gonna use it. Three quarter cup of sugar one teaspoon of vanilla, pour that in, and then stir immediately. All right, we have a taste tester standing by. Daughter Hannah. It's pretty good, I like it. Does this snow, taste like snow ice cream? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we it wanted. Does. That's what we were aiming for. It's good. Mm. I like it. What's it taste like? Vanilla ice cream. Melted. Yeah, melted vanilla ice cream. Do you like it? Okay, I'm trying it. Mm. Actually, this is snow we used. It was a layer of snow, a layer of ice, a layer of snow. And ice, you get it. So it was, um, there's lots of ice chunks in it. <laughs> but I think it tastes like snow ice cream. It doesn't taste awful. I would like to know if we could put it in the blender and make milkshakes with it. Now just to recap for the snow ice cream, it's uh, four cups of snow, one cup of milk or cream, and one teaspoon of vanilla and then stir that up and serve. You can see that it was kind of um, runny ice cream. Uh, we described it as just, it tasted like vanilla ice cream that melted. So you might want to freeze it for a little bit before you serve it or you can make it. ice cream into the 
it's um, canister that's going to go on the Ninja to make milkshake. I put some homemade hot fudge and just a little bit of milk. All right, new day here. Um, I did try making milkshakes with the uh, snow ice cream and they were pretty good. So just an activity that you might wanna try. I wanna mention that um, we try to think of activities and games and, and projects to work on with Hunter. It's tough this time of year um, with the snow and the ice and just the cold temperatures. We're not able to get out and walk as much as we like. We're not able to get out and, and do much of anything um, for that matter. So many of you might have this, be facing the same thing. So I just like to share with you what we're doing and it might be something you wanna try with your kids, your grandkids. Or... I remember another fun activity we would do um, when we were stuck in the house, whether it was from you know cold weather or just the kids weren't feeling well, I could put them in their high chair or sit them in their seats at the table and give them like a serving tray or maybe like um, uh, a plastic flat um, platter type serving um, so nothing would break. And then layer that with a, a sheet of plastic wrap and then spray shaving cream on the bottom. And then they would play in it with their fingers or if there was any kind of bath toys that were, could be easily washed off, they would play in the, the foam with that and then they, as they grew older, they were able to, you know, use that as their dry erase board almost because they could practice writing their letters and practice writing their name as they grew older with their finger. Yeah. Whew, I was just outside helping Mike with some things. All right, so I know I've said it before, but I am trying to put out more videos. Um, I kind of experience video block. I don't know if that's similar to uh, writer's block, but I start to put a video together and then something gets in my head and where I'm like, no, this isn't gonna work. I think one thing, and I've shared this with Mike, is the videos that I think are just gonna be the best videos, totally bomb. And um, I need to just, do videos, put them out there, and what you watch, you watch, and what you like, you like. So that's what I'm gonna try. <laughs> I just like to give you an idea of what's going on and uh, when you can expect to look for a video. But let me remind you to subscribe and then hit the bell icon next to it, which will then look abbreviated, and that will give you a notification of when we do get things together and publish a video. All right, thanks so much. We'll see you on the next one. Hunter just got back from BK. Mm. And surprisingly, he didn't get chicken. Oh my, got a burger. Looks like there's bacon on that. Mmm. All right. Looks like he enjoyed every bit, or bite, I should say, of the baking thing. Hmm. How about that, everyone? Look, my coach, Coach Hunter, showed up. Hunter getting a little work done.
Okay, I'm just answering some emails and some comments on videos. I sure do appreciate you watching the videos and subscribing and uh, adding a comment. Really um, keeps us busy and uh, we really appreciate it.